Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile278 back again with another video. Trying something new for today, as you can see from the, uh, the thumbnail, we're going to be doing some movie pickups. So, uh, the ones we've done before where I was showing my horror collection um, seem to prove quite popular. So, uh, I thought probably over the last couple of weeks I've managed to grab some... Uh, Decent Blu-rays, uh, primarily from um, trading trading in at CEX and uh, buying some bits with vouchers. Um, so I have no able assistance with me today. Um, Darth is in the room. She's sat playing some uh, Black Ops 4. Hi. Uh, so yeah, she's been warned not to uh, drop the C-bomb, please, while I'm doing this video. And uh, Ghost Lou is uh, otherwise occupied. So... Um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, crack in and share with you the Blu-ray pickups that uh, I've got recently. So, most of these are uh, movies that I've not seen before. Um, so, they're either ones that um, I've searched my local CEX, found it, looked on IMDb, thought it looked quite good, or uh, through recommendations over on there. Uh, my Instagram. So uh, if you're on Instagram and not following me, have a look at um, Xfile2708. And I generally put all of my um, movie pickups on there, my movie collectibles, um, all sorts of uh, horror primarily related uh, stuff over on there. So give me a follow if you're on Instagram. But uh, without further ado, let's uh, share with you the movies we've picked up, or I've picked up, I should say. Right, there we go, guys. Uh, this is one of the ones that I've not seen before. Grateful Dead. Uh, it says on the uh, the tagline there, dark, bloody, unflinchingly brutal. So I think this is a, uh, a Japanese uh, foreign film. Uh, no idea what it's about, but I did at the time have a look on IMDb. It looked all kinds of odd and messed up. And those of you that know me and Darth will agree, that's me down to a T. So I figured I'd pick that one up. All right, so this is going to be more awkward as I have no able assistant. All right, let's put that one there. I'm dying a lot if you want me to come and help. All right, no, you're okay. We'll carry on. All right, next one. Um, trilogy of films, this one. I've seen... The first one, um, which was split, got split um, over on the shelf on 4K. Absolutely loved it. Heard good things about the other two um, in the series. I'm not too sure um, how they follow on, but uh, there's this one, which is Unbreakable. That's uh, Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson. And to finish the, uh, the trilogy of sorts, there you go. We have Glass. So, old James McAvoy, absolutely loved him in Split. Superb film. Um, guessing most of you will have probably seen that one by now, but if you haven't, wholeheartedly recommend it. So that's Unbreakable and Glass. Next one, <clears throat> no idea um, if this one was any good, but uh, I'd seen it for... Um, a couple of weeks on my travels um, into my local CEX. Um, obviously, the the cover grabbed me. Reading up on it, I think it's a, an 80s slasher. Um, but it's by my favourite uh, distributor, Arrow Video. Uh, so, nine times out of ten, I'll, I'll pick up the Arrow stuff, whether it's on these regular Blu-rays or the um, limited edition box sets or Arrow Steelbooks. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a fairly new Arrow release. So um, it wasn't wasn't the cheapest, but like I say, this is all with um, store credit. So I thought I'd uh, I'd grab it. It's supposed to be a half-decent slasher, so we'll, uh, we'll see what it's about. Next up, put that one there. If it's going to stand up, there we go. Uh, this one I'd had on my... Um, Amazon wish list probably for about 18 months now. Um, <coughs> specifically wanted the um, the limited edition release. So this is one of the uh, 
second sight films um, limited edition releases so it comes with the um, the art cards or art book and the poster uh, as well as the limited edition blu-ray release so um, next to arrow second sight is probably my second favorite film distributor here in the UK um, so I'll put a picture up on the screen um, if I can work out how to do it in the software um, of my second sight limited edition collection as it stands today minus this um, copy of upgrade that I picked up so I do uh, like the second sight releases they can be fairly expensive especially the um the new 4k releases that uh, they've started doing some lovely limited edition box sets for so i have got um second sight babadook on 4k limited edition as well as the recent release they did of the guest um like i say they are quite pricey but you know i do try to get them if it's a film that i've seen before uh, before before and enjoyed so that's upgrade no idea uh not seen it before but it always reviews well and uh again when people posted about it over on instagram it uh, it was always met with um with positive uh, reviews so that's upgrade next up these came through last week from uh zavi i think they were um reduced down to what was it 8.99 each i think instead of 15 so they were ones that had been on my uh, wish list for a while um i think i've seen one of them but haven't seen this one yet so there we go we got a bit of horror express with uh, christopher lee there telly savalas and peter cushion so uh yep some classic um 70s horror so, like I say, I haven't seen this one before, but I'm not too sure. Um, I know quite a few of these, like, Hammer-related ones were, like, um, anthologies that they did. But I don't think, looking on the back of this one, that it was a an anthology. But, um, yeah, I thought uh, it's an Arrow release. Bless you. It had been on my uh, wish list for a while, and, like I say, Zavi had reduced it. To almost half price, so uh, I thought I'd grab it while I could. So that's that one. And then the next one, I'm pretty sure this one is an anthology. Um, let's have a look. I think it is. Um, but yeah, I'll show you anyway without further ado. There we go. The Comedy of Terrors. So, yeah, that was another one that had been on my list uh, to grab for quite some time now, reduced down to eight ninety nine. So, with it being an Arrow release as well, then uh, I thought it was a no-brainer to pick up. Next one, I have actually seen this one. Uh, myself and Darth actually saw it. Uh, was it last year or earlier on this year? Yeah. That one. It was earlier this year. Yeah, earlier this year on uh, at the cinema. So there we go. It's the uh, the recent release um, of Scream. So I quite enjoyed it, um, but I think it's going to be one of those films that um, I appreciate more after a second watch, similar to um, Halloween Kills that we saw at the cinema as well, where I enjoyed it much more second time around. So... Myself and uh, Ghost Lou um, are going to watch this one next weekend. So that's that one. Next one. I decided this game's corrupt. <laughs> the joys of Black Ops 4. There we go. Next one, we have a bit of uh, Poltergeist 2. So pretty good one, this one. Pre pretty sure... I remember watching it a few years ago on DVD, quite enjoying it. So it was uh, one, I think this one and the next one that uh, I needed to complete the set. So Poltergeist 2. And then we have 
There we go. Poltergeist 3, which I, if I recall, wasn't particularly decent at all. But um, with my Blu-rays and movies in general, I do I like to collect a series of films, even if it's, um, you know, the, the, there's the odd duffer in, um, in amongst it. So I have got, you know, like the full sinister set. I've got the... Uh, the four insidious movies where the last key isn't that good, but for completeness, I needed to uh, to grab it for the set. Um, same with the Purge movies. There's five there. I wasn't a huge fan of the later two, but um, you know, decided to grab them to complete the sets as well. And again, this one here, Poltergeist three, not supposed to be that good. That I remember again. It was years ago that I saw it on DVD. So that's uh, that's that one there. And then two more. This the, these are ones that uh, Darth rolled her eyes at. So we have a couple of shitty shark movies. So Steel Sharks, starring Gary Busey, or Busey, however you pronounce his name. Below the waves, there's one, one, there's one, one option. Is that a grammatical error? Or is that supposed to be what it says? Below the waves, there's one, one option. Escape or die. Well, one, one option is two options, isn't it? I have no idea. Steel sharks, anyway. That's that one. And then the last one to finish with. So another shitty shark movie, this one I haven't seen before, Shark Zone, with Dean Cochran, Brandy Sherwood and Alan Austin. Again, one I've not seen before, so this is going on to the to watch pile when, uh, when Darth isn't about, because she's not a fan of uh, shitty shark movies at all, but I do enjoy switching off the old uh, brain matter and watching these as and when I can. And then the last thing to show you, this isn't movie related, but I did hint on yesterday's video uh, that I got something gaming related that I'd, uh, I'd share with you on today's pickup. So bear with me one second. I'll try and put this on the table without knocking the camera over. There we go. Let's have a look. I think I'm going to have to pick the camera up for this one. So there we go. So we have the uh, the latest Lego um, ideas release for the Sonic the Hedgehog. So classic um, Sonic scene. I've watched a few. Um, YouTube videos of uh, people that collect the Lego um, and they've built this one so apparently it's supposed to be an absolute shit ton of stickers which uh, I'm not looking forward to putting onto the box but um, you know with uh, me being the Sega nut that I am then I had to pick uh, this one up so just over a thousand pieces in total and it'd be a great little display piece if I end up doing uh, you know to camera videos for the channel again this will be a nice one to uh, have as part of the background so there we go that's the uh, the lego sonic the hedgehog green hill zone level one dr robotniks and sonic leaping around so there we go let's put the camera back down without it all falling over so there we go guys that's um Short and sweetish compared to yesterday's video, so coming up to 15 minutes. But yeah, I thought I'd share with you um, the latest uh, Blu-rays and uh, movies in general that uh, I'd picked up recently. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, as always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and share amongst your socials. And uh, I'll be back with another video later on in the week. Bye for now.